Hey there dudes and dudettes. In this video I'm going to show you the way Edward Van Halen really plays the verse riffs in Running With The Devil. If we haven't already met, I'm Jeff Allard, the Details Dude. At your service to help you get better faster at guitar with learning by listening. And also bringing you accurate detailed tutorials on how to play classic rock songs on guitar. This week we continue our dive into Running With The Devil by Van Halen. I've posted time links in the description so you can actually see video evidence of Ed doing exactly what I'm talking about in this video. So back in about 2014, I think, I was watching live videos of the um, 07 Van Halen reunion tour. And it was then that I noticed, I'm like, oh, whoa, dude, he's playing that A with his pinky. It's obvious. And... Um, it didn't surprise me too much because I've seen him play other things not exactly the way it's tabbed out. So on this verse riff, the original tab book didn't quite have it right, and neither do the online tabs, which basically seem to have just copied exactly what's in the book. Um, it sounds fine. <laughs> Harmonically, it's all the same exact implications and everything like that. So, like, if you're comfortable playing it that way because you learned it that way or whatever, it's not a big deal. But my job is to show you the details and uh, preferably how to play it the way the artist played it. That's kind of, you know, I guess one of what I'd call my wheelhouse a little bit. So, what's really happening, it's still that A power chord, and there's still a lot of palm muting. This is another riff you want to watch out and make sure you're doing your palm mutes and your accenting to really make it snap the way it does on the record. So here's the main, um, here's how to play the main theme that's in the verse without any of the fills, and then we'll get into the fills. <laughs> Alright, so let's just run through this verse riff real quick. Um, you know, I when I learned it was played with the pinky, I thought that was it, the only difference. There's one other subtle difference. It's not just... Which is how I still did it for a long time. By the way, let's just cover something kind of quick here, okay? It's an A chord, G note. And I'm saying these as if this was standard tuning just because I'm still on the fence about how to do that, really. Like, the right way would just be to tell you what string and fret, because technically this is not A and G. And if I got somebody out in the crowd with, like, uh, perfect pitch, you're probably going, oh, my gosh, this guy doesn't know what the heck he's talking about. But... Um, for today, I'm just going to keep it with calling out the chords as what their shapes are and stuff like that. So we got A, G, A, and then we do an A octave with an open A and a 7th fret D string A. So it's and then we get into our double steps with the palm muted A. And these double stops are, I would say this, it might, I mean, this is where it gets a little tricky. It could be part of an E minor triad, could be part of a G major triad. This one probably almost certainly is a D major. So we got what could be G or E minor. I'm going to say it's probably G, though, based on the... Um, the main chorus riff. All right, so I think the easiest, quickest way for me to do this is just to kind of show the tabs at the bottom of the screen while I play through them kind of slowly. Um, I'll do each verse. There's three of them. That way you'll see the, the fingerings and and the fill that goes with each one because the verse is eight measures just like the chorus. Um, 
whereas the chorus is kind of a two bar thing repeated four times, the verses are more like a four bar thing repeated twice. And every verse has a unique fill at the fourth measure. So here we go. <laughs> That first one, I do believe that it's this harmonic ringing with this one at the end. I don't think it's these two on the fifth fret being played together. That just sounds like there's more pick attack going on. And also, just FYI, this and this are the same note. And what I hear when I play it, I hear this one on the, the seventh fret being allowed to ring, not so much that I'm hearing another new note being picked other than that fifth fret harmonic on the G string. So that's the first verse, second one would go like this. <laughs> might have hit a dead note in there, but you get the idea. The tab I put down was right. And then for the third verse, this one's probably, I don't know, I mean the trill one is kind of challenging, but it's mostly kind of a triplet fill. Except that last one, he does speed it up if you slow down that um, recording, you can kind of hear it. The third verse can give people a little bit of difficulty because you kind of got to move your hand quick and I think it even maybe caused Edward to hit a dead note. He's human too. <laughs> So there you have it, folks. That gets you through the, uh, the little added detail on the main riff and all three verses, including the fills. So if you are getting value from this or just enjoying the video, make sure and check out my first video on the main riff for Running With The Devil. And also, don't be afraid to check out Ben Eller's Weekend Wang Shop 173.